notes. So let's talk about Alex. I'm Stefanos Jaropoulos. I'm a PHP developer and system administrator and part of our multimedia team. In 2013, 10 years ago, I found a project called OpenCast 1.4 in an OpenSUSE server. Good luck back then trying to install audio and video codecs and compile them. And I also, sorry, and I also, I am developer from our video portal. It's called uh, fau.tv since 2015. This is our university. We're the second largest university in Bavaria. Um, I'm not going to read all of these numbers. So we have 40,000 students, professors, support staff. Um, we are by OpenCast 13. We are using admin presentation and three worker nodes. We have uh, 20 extrons. And that's not only the only way we're getting the video files. We're using also an upload portal and a video por portal. And then we are sending these files to the OpenCast ingest and we are starting a workflow. And OpenCast is used only for uh, video processing in the backend, so the users don't know anything about OpenCast. And also, since 2021, OpenCast is generating closed, caption for, closed captions for us with, um, with Bosk. And that's the end of the boring stuff. Now, who is Alex? Let me tell you a story first. In 2000. 22 in the December and we had a meeting with our podcast producers and they asked me please allow us upload audio files and then I wear my uh, Black Panther costume and I said we don't do that here so if you know then in the main and the problem was that um, the users um, we cannot send audio files directly to OpenCast so the users need to change the files from audio to video and they also need to wait for upload the transcode and, and also be themed because we're using OpenCast themes they got an intro outro and also a watermark. And, or maybe ignore our video portal and use other services. And you may guess what they did. So then I had second thoughts and I said, yeah, our player can play audio files. Let's let users upload the files. I mean, I could understand the hype. Podcast was in is hype. And there are small files. And they didn't have to wait until the files get processed. The problem was that the files was not sent to OpenCast and then we had no uh, transcription anymore. So I read a post from Max about Whisper and we produced uh, at the time um, a podcast that was like two, three months ago. And I said, let's try Whisper. So I installed Whisper in my machine and did other stuff. I didn't have any experience with Whisper and I went back to my terminal and I saw this and I said, Wait a minute, is, is this thing understand? Is this a question mark? Does it understand a question or is this a dot? Okay, I said I need to do something for it. So I tried to um, somehow move it from my laptop because I couldn't break my laptop running like two or three Whisper instances. And I installed it to a dev server for was originally, originally planned for um, hardware encoding with a four gigabytes of CPU. And I start uh, trying to make Docker uh, work, but it didn't. At the end, it didn't work with uh, GPU. It started always with CPU, and we managed at the end to install it in our host without Docker uh, with GPU. But we had a problem. This thing had four gigabytes of RAM, and we couldn't start a media model because the media model it needs five gigabytes of VRAM. So if, if graphic card and the admins said to me yeah just ask the people that give you that server and what I did I asked so it's in German so I asked my colleague I tried with whisper um, can you please um, do you have by the chance any graphic card with 10 gigabytes of RAM for us to try and my colleague said we are not going to get a card. We are going to get a server with four cards. And I said, OK, that's nice. And then at 26th of January, he sent me a message saying, OK, I, I mounted your um, network file system from the video portal. And I try it in our Alex. And for 5,000 hours for the years 2022 and 2023, with eight GPUs, it takes one, one day with a Whisper Medium model. 
And now let me introduce to our uh, National High Performance Computing Center in the <laughs> Friedrich Alexander University, in our university, which is also part of our computer center. We are very lucky, we are third listed in this list. Uh, there are eight places around Germany with this computer center. And um, what this supercomputer center is doing is uh, having uh, resources and, and competencies uh, for different universities and they provide services free of charge. So this is Alex. I introduce you, Alex. Please bear with me, I'm not a supercomputer. Um, engineer. So it has uh, 70, 70 nodes. It's based on um, G, GPU applications. It has 256 NVIDIA cards and 304 also NVIDIA A40 cards. We're not using it, unfortunately, as a worker for <laughs> OpenCast. So, the Alex cluster transcribed for us 40,000 hours in 24 hours. 40,000 40, hours of video and audio in 24 hours. 40 in 24 hours. <laughs> okay, I can go with it like forever. During the whole process, uh, we used at minimum eight cores and we ha had a peak of 200 CP GPUs. We have 30,000 files detected as German. I didn't provide to our engineers any, or to Thomas, I didn't provide any details about the, the audio or the video files. They just ran it automatically and they found that there are 30,000 files was detected as German, 10,000 10, files are as, uh, English, and there was like 1% that maybe there was like an audio file and no, no speech. No one speaking. This is the power measurement at a time um, for a node. 2,000 watts, a total power. The GPU was uh, measured at 1,470 uh, 400, 1, watts, 65%, 64%. And we also have fan power, CPU power, and also memory power measured. And for the whole process, it consumed one megawatt hour. And if you are wondering how much it is, according to Google, it will power 70, 750 homes at once. This is my disk user um, file in my terminal, so you can see these are the, the web, the, the VDT files produced, was 2.5 gigabytes. You can see that we have like 2001, you can see we are clear right now, 2021, 2020 in the, in the pandemic. So we had a so, um, lot of data produced because we have more videos. So what we learned, the whisper is not working only with audio files, it can work also with video files. In 2021, I removed the audio produced, the, uh, I had a workflow that um, OpenCast produced for us an audio file, and I removed this step because I wanted the files to be quicker online. So we had some cases where the files didn't have any audio files, so we kept working with the video file. For the base model, and if you have an English uh, language, it's working really good, but if you are in German, you may you have to go with medium model because um, the, the small or the base is not very good. If you still have a supercomputer uh, in your house or in, in somewhere uh, near you, and um, you need to be more power efficient, maybe you can try a CPU because GPU is, it takes, we produce files quicker, of course, but it consumes more energy. Um, I calculated in 2016 when with a 30% um, word uh, error rate, it took for a, a student of ours um, around about 12 to 16 hours to bring um, a, a pre-transcribed file up to 100%. So if you have the same human try to bring this kind of error rate to maybe 90%, it will take 36.5 years for all our video portal. Of 
course. Um, Whisper is very good. Uh, I can show you an example if we have time. And our uh, supercomputer department also. This is a link from Thomas, which is my colleague, and it's called uh, Benchmarking and Open AI Whisper Speech Recognition System on our systems. Thomas is not only very good in his job, of course, but he documented every step, every Python script, every result, and every error he got back. And you can find a lot of information. If you download it as a PDF, it's like 18 pages, I think. Please don't do it now. Please be with me a little bit. So the future in uh, Whisper in, in our university, this operation was about to start at once, so um, unfortunately, they are not producing any Whisper file for, for us anymore. Um, we replaced, I replaced Fosk with Whisper. We have uh, two servers with eight gigabytes of RAM, and they're both running uh, Whisper as a web service with a medium model. Um, I tried the Whisper um, workflow operation handler in a CPU um, opencast node from our productive cluster, and it's really slow. So at the time, maybe Max has better results, and maybe he can say more about it. I totally remove our uh, VOSC uh, workflow operation handler from our workflow because I wanted to improve the processing time. And right now, the video portal is copying the files from the opencast, and afterwards, the video portal in, with an API that I wrote is sending the files to the Whisper server and get back the results. So the files are produced, the video files are produced, and then after two or three, or with the GPU after 10, minutes for a one hour and 30 uh, minutes uh, lecture, it will be online. was so fast. Thank you very much. Perfect. Thank you, Stefanos. If you have time, I can show you two, two clips. Yeah.